Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Um, as you know, on Thirsty Thursday, before we get cracking on the beer, we like to look at some of life's mysteries, but today I'm going to pose you a question. What's worse, fast women or slow horses? Anyway, up today on the taste test on our bargain beers, we have this Bishop's Finger from Shepherd's Name. I've tried a lot of uh, Shepherd's Names on uh, Thirsty Thursday, but this is from their um, proper range, as it were, their premium range. So this is a, a, a real McCoy Shepherd's Name. Um, this is, well, this tips the scales at 5.4% on the ABV. Um, this cost me £1.25 English pence from supermarket Lidl. Um, just to read you on the back, it is a Kentish Strong Ale and it says on the site chestnut brown, um, on the smell roast, toffee and berries and on the taste rich, fruity and bitter. Um, that's the complete opposite to me, I'm, I'm not rich, um, I'm not very fruity and I'm not really bitter. 500ml um, bottle, um, got this out of the fridge about 10 minutes ago to be honest. So let's get this cracked and poured. Here we go. What we little bit of cannon smoke there, not a great deal. Nice little purple cap with a uh, shepherd's crook on it. Really looking forward to this one. As I say, this is uh, one of their proper range, is what I would say. Let's give it a semi-aggressive pour, to be honest. Let's shoot the rest of it down the middle and we'll pop that there for the time being. Right, colour wise, what does the marketing gump say? Chestnut brown, well you can't really argue with that can you? You get that in the background. Carbonation wise, that looks about bob on from here. Um, head wise, what we're looking at, that's, that's two fingers but slightly dissipating so probably about one and three quarters. Let's go for a sniff. Mmm. You do get that um, textbook Kentish ale smell to it and those of you in the UK especially who do drink um, Kentish ales you'll know what I mean. It's that lovely um, Sort of a maybe a bit of a cross between a bit of butterscotch, caramel, a bit of citrus in there because of the um, East Kent Goldings, which is the hops. Um, maybe a little bit of grass, grapefruit, um, maybe a little bit of prune in there as well. Maybe a bit of apricot or sorry, apricots we say over here or apricot if you're on the other side of the pond. Um, let's go in for a test, ladies and gentlemen. Very good health. I like that. That, that. That's not watery like some of the recent Shepherd's Names that I've tried from their Master Brewer's Choice range. Um, that's a fairly good mouthfeel on that. Very bitter. Um, if you were scoring bitterness on a... That's really kicking in there actually. If you were scoring that on a score of 1 to 10 on bitterness, that's that's probably a good 8.5, 9 on the bittering. Not overly sweet though. It's probably a 3 out of 10 on sweetness. Good, um, good mouthfeel though. Um, see that bit of bit of lacing on there as well, sort on the legs as it's uh, as it said. Let's go for one more. I think on reflection, I might not have, I might have, well, I should have taken this out of the fridge a little bit earlier. I think um, I think it's probably good a few degrees um, warmer, as it were, because it's it's fairly muggy, humid here in the UK at the moment. But it's not necessarily a thirst quencher, but it's 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 more in the the defined taste of the malts along with the East Kent Goldings. Now, pardon me. Before I give this a score, I'm just going to pop the drink down for a second, just get the bottle up because um, it's, you might think it's a bit of a weird name, Bishop's Finger, and what the hell's all that about? Um, now, just to read you. A classic Kentish strong ale, blah, 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 takes its name from the name of an ancient signpost on the Pilgrim's Way, pointing pilgrims to the shrine of Thomas Becket at K 
Canterbury Cathedral. Um, now, if those of you who know your English history, um, or if you don't, have, you know, it's very, very famous. Uh, Thomas Beckett was uh, killed, unfortunately. Well, no one rid me of this meddlesome priest, or something like that, anyway. But please don't look on our friend Mr. Google, but um, it's one of the things that you get taught in history here at, uh, in, in the UK at school. Um, right, score out of 10. I reckon that is a good, solid 8.5 out of 10, that is. I like that. Um, maybe not quite the thing for scorching weather. Maybe come September, October time, when the weather drops a bit here in the UK. This uh, really comes into its own, but very enjoyable. So £1.25 this was in Lidl. Um, if you see it in general in supermarkets or in pubs, please give it a try. Very, very tasty. Would I buy it again? Damn right I would. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again for an episode of Thirsty Thursday. We'll be seeing you.